In number one, part A, we can sketch a diagram of this scenario. So we have the electric field we're told is in the x direction and it's propagating downward in the z hat direction. So here's x hat. And so if we're asked to come up with an electric field expression the phase in the phasor domain, we have vector phasor and it's a function only of z since it's propagating in the z direction. Then since it's oriented in the x direction, we're told it's x polarized, then we can add an x hat at the beginning of our expression. And we are told it has an amplitude of five volts per meter. So I'll say volts per meter over here. And then uh, we need to know, is this wave attenuating as it propagates? We also need to calculate beta so we can know the phase. And so in order to do that, we need to know what kind of a material that we're dealing with. So then we can uh, calculate our loss tangent, sigma over epsilon omega will tell us what kind of a material we have. And if we plug in four and epsilon naught times 81 we're given times two pi f, which is given as one kilohertz, then we get 2.3 times 10 to the 17th, which is a lot greater than 100, our threshold for saying that it is a good conductor. So knowing it's a good conductor, we can go to table 7-1 and we can use the uh, simplified expressions for calculating alpha and for calculating beta. And so for both of these, these are going to be equal to each other for a good conductor. So we can, and then once we calculate them, we'll get 0.2. So now we can use these in our expressions, expression for the electric field phasor. First, let's deal with alpha. The wave is propagating in the positive z direction. So we're going to have e to the minus 0.2z. This is alpha. And it's a minus in front so that it's attenuating uh, the further it propagates into the material. If it were propagating in the minus z direction, we would have a positive 0.2z. Then we have the phase. So here, e to the minus, since it's propagating in a positive z direction, point to z. The only difference here is that here we have a j, which indicates that we are dealing with a phase term. And here is our beta.